Prologue from Troilus and Cressida by William Shakespeare In Troy there lies the scene From isles of Greece the princes Orgulus Their high blood chafed Have to the port of Athens sent their ships Fraught with the ministers and instruments of cruel war Sixty and nine that wore their crown at Regal From the Athenian Bay put forth toward Phrygia and their vow is made to ransack Troy, within whose strong amours the ravished Helen, Menelaus' queen, with wanton Paris sleeps. And that's the quarrel. To Tendros they come, and the deep-drawing barks do there disgorge their warlike frottage. Now on Darden plains, the fresh and yet unbruised Greeks do pitch their brave pavilions. Priam's six-gated city, Darden and Timbria, Elias, Cetus, Trojan, and Antonorides, with massy staples and corresponsive and fulfilling bolts, spur up the sons of Troy. Now expectation, tickling skitter spirits on one and other side, Trojan and Greek, sets all on hazard. And hither am I come, a prologue armed, but not in confidence of author's pen or actor's voice, but suited in like conditions as our argument, to tell you, fair beholders, that our play leaps o'er the vaunt and firstlings of those broils, beginning in the middle, starting thence away to what may be digested in a play. Like or find fault, do as your pleasures are. Now good or bad, tis but the chance of war. End of prologue from Troilus and Cressida. This recording is in the public domain. Recording by Charlene V. Smith.